Hi guys, in today's post bag I showed you I've got a couple of these LED light strips that Big Clive had reviewed. And when I saw them I thought I'd buy them to see if I could use them for lighting my videos when I'm filming on this table. So I very quickly wired them up just with a chocolate block nectar as we call it. And I've already switched it on and I had to smile when I switched it on. I'll go and switch it on and you can see. Probably a bit bright for the camera, but that one's come on and this one hasn't. And yet the power is going through this one first to get to that one. So I gave it a tap. So at a rough guess, I would say we've got a loose wire in there somewhere, or a loose connection. Let the camera recover. So I haven't intended to do a tear down of these, because I can't hope to compete with Big Clive. He tells you what all the bits and pieces do. But it looks like I will have to take this one apart just to find out what's loose in there. So we are unplugged. Okay, here's our circuit board. Oh, there we are, that's quite easy. Right, I just spent a bit of time talking to myself there and realised I hadn't actually got the item in view on the camera. You can see what the problem is straight away. That leg is loose. So I need to resolder that. Now, one thing Big Clive pointed out is this is a nice big aluminium heat sink. So when you are trying to solder on it, you may have problems because it'll be hot. Uh, it'll be taking all the heat away. So that might be a problem. Uh, one suggestion is to heat it up with a hair dryer or something first to keep it warm. Uh, the other thing, these are supposed to be these connectors that you just push the wires into to make the connection so you can um, daisy chain these lights. Well, that one's come loose straight away. I pushed it in there myself, but that's not making a good seal or a good connection. And I may solder my wires directly onto there anyway, if I can. Um, get a good solder connection, termination. And I was also looking there, you can probably see nice shiny bare wires there. So whatever they've been doing, that's left that insulation um, open. So a bit of work there to do. I'll pop upstairs and do that on my bigger soldering arm. Hmm. Not sure if I mentioned as far as I know in the UK, live is brown and neutral is blue. So they're the wrong way round as well. Not that it makes any difference as far as the circuit goes, but certainly colouring is wrong. On this one they're the other way round.
Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage and I'm filming this using some LED strip lights that have just died. Oh, this is take two because I just spent a fair bit of time explaining how difficult it had been soldering onto this aluminium heat sink and showing how I'd had to Resolder it there. I'd soldered my power leads directly on here, and also when I turned it over, I'd found that that tag there was loose as well, so I had to resolder it there. Did all that, set it all up so that I could do the video for my latest charity shop gold or garbage. Just started talking, and the lights failed, and. It was this solder joint here that had just flicked off. Now, I seem to be on there nice and solid again now, but this is the second attempt. So, I'll put it all back together, put the cover back on again, plug it in again, and then we'll have a go at my Charity Shop Gold or Garbage video. Charity Shop Gold or Garbage. Okay, this is a test for my LED strip lights and straight away I can see having them up above is putting too much shadow down here. So I have to reposition them, whatever I do. Uh, the other test is to see how the camera reacts to the LED lighting and that seems to be okay. So we'll run through what I've got anyway, just for the sake of uh, testing the lights. I've got myself a little cheap plastic tractor here. Uh, Brudor it says there, B-R-U-D-O-R. Firth. I can't do German pronunciation but it does say made in Germany. What caught my eye was it does actually have steering. It's there to turn the steering wheel inside. I don't know if you can see that moving. No, because the light's um, drowning it. Oh, there we go, I can just see the steering wheel move. So I did think, yeah, we might be able to convert that to radio control just for the fun of it. Should be able to put a servo on there so we can make it steer. So that's a project for the future, cost me a pound. Another one of these, wind-up torch from Ikea. Uh, LJUSA. Charge it up a bit and press the light. Yeah. It's got a little um, super capacitor in there. I bought one the other day and took it apart. So I might take this one apart and see if we can do something with the generator because it looks very much like a um, brushless motor or stepper motor. It's got three wires coming out of it that get rectified to charge the supercapacitor and then the button turns on and off the LEDs. I mean, that one seems a little bit intermittent. Yeah. So that's the plan with that one. We'll probably take it apart and use the bits. And then what else have we got? We've got some wind up. These look like they're supposed to be Brussels sprouts. We've got the little leg that comes out underneath to make them turn around. Two of them. <laughs> yeah, they look like they work okay. This I just picked up on impulse. Made for McDonald's 2010. 
I would expect it needs batteries changed, but it's SpongeBob SquarePants and his friend, whose name I can't remember. So I assume he makes noises of some sort. And what sort of batteries it needs. Probably a couple of button cells. Yeah, we'll have a look at that, see if we can replace them, see what it does. And then finally, Homer Simpson. Burger King, this one comes from. It's got a little pullback motor in it. And it also turns around for some reason. Oh, it seems to have locked in place now. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not quite sure what this turn around bit does. Okay, well it sort of turns around as it goes along. Not terribly exciting. I've put fresh batteries in and I can see what we get. We get flashing lights at the back. So it's a pullback car, or boat in this case, and we get flashing lights as it goes along. Great fun. That's a McDonald's one as well, isn't it? 2010. So, that's the Charity Shop Gold or Garbage test for the lights. As I said, they were just very temporarily rigged up on the tripod there. Just to see what sort of light they gave. That seems to be okay. I'll find out when I actually play the film back. It might work, but I'll have to think of something a little bit more permanent than that arrangement. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's other channel is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.